Hi there, welcome to this meditation of mine. Forgiveness is one of the more difficult topics for us to discuss. And it's a very difficult, difficult topic for me to wrap my mind around. You know, just when I think I've got it, I get into a conversation or a discussion with someone that's, that's really hurting or someone that's, that's got a, a raw pain about forgiveness. And, and that someone demands justice and demands that, that, that consequences get dished out for, for things done wrong. And when I sit and I listen to that plot, I cannot help but forgive, but, but agree with him. I cannot help but say, you're right. And just when I think I've got it, I get, I get thrown off track again. The topic of forgiving one another is one that I don't think I'll ever be able to understand. The topic of forgiving one another is a very deep and very sensitive and very hurtful topic. When I sit in my garden and I think about forgiveness, when I listen to the birds and the wind around me, it's such an easy topic to understand. But, but, but then the next topic is about God forgiving us. And there's another huge topic. And what makes this topic so, so huge is that, is that we as people struggle to understand the depth and the magnitude of forgiveness that God offers us. I'm not sure why we struggle to accept the forgiveness. Jesus offers this forgiveness to us when we come with a broken heart, when we come with a genuine seeking. Jesus doesn't want justice. Jesus, Jesus doesn't say we've got to earn it. Jesus just offers it when we come with a sincere heart. I honestly believe that we struggle to understand forgiveness because we in turn, we struggle to forgive. There's the psalm in the Bible, Psalm 103, that David wrote. <laughs> and, and David is forgiven so much and he's so grateful that, that he, he bursts out in this verse and he says his transgressions, his sins are so far removed from him as far as the east is from the west. And that is far. I mean, that is even further than, than north is from south. Let, let, let me explain. If, if your sin is removed for you from you as far as the north is, it, your sin starts traveling north and north. And once it hits the north pole, it starts going south. If your, if your sin is removed from you as far as the south is, it goes south and south. And once it hits the pole, it starts going north again. So if you want to say your sin is removed from you as far as the north is from the south, that is the size of our planet. If we say our sin is removed from us as far as east is from west, that's, that can't get measured. Because once our sin starts he heading west, It'll keep going west. It'll go round and round the planet. No matter how many times it circulates the planet, it keeps going west. And the same goes with east. So when our sins are removed from us as far as east is from west, it can't get measured. It's like, it's perpetual. And, and the extreme of east and west is, is, is the depth and the length and the width and, the, and the, the hugeness of the forgiveness that is offered to us. I hope that, that you will join me this week as I focus on forgiving and being forgiven. Because the easier I can forgive, the easier I can accept forgiveness that Jesus offers. And I hope your week is made up of forgiving others like West and East. And I hope you, that you may learn to accept the forgiveness that Jesus offers us. Until we meet again. Stay safe and God bless.